Hello people, Jack here. So since the start of the weekend, I had been on some strange correspondence with some friends regarding some SCP content because we decided to dive into uh, a little bit of a rabbit hole, I guess the right word here, regarding the propositions for SCP-001. And we did come across some already on streams, but the thoughts crossed my mind and I just had to share that with some acquaintances of mine. And it was pretty fun because all of those did range from from the uh, theological to the extremely diabolical and of course those that were just pretty Bruh. cute actually but um, because of that I got a recommendation to check out some more SCP content and one in particular is supposed to be rather cool I don't know I, I don't even know what to expect with the SCP stuff like I remember with the uh, infinite Ikea I was rather surprised with what came out of that but this is SCP-49 Nine, nine, nine. Someone to watch over us. Keter. Okay. It's uh, uncontained. L I don't know what this is about. Let's, uh, let's just jump into it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4999. Object Class Save. Special Containment Procedures. Due to SCP-4999's unwillingness or inability to appear before more than one person at a time, in addition to the subsequent and immediate death of any who witness it firsthand, SCP-4999 is effectively self-containing. Any pardon. reports of SCP-4999 manifestations captured by security camera feeds, photographs, or similar are to be investigated, and the media confiscated for analysis. All second-hand witnesses among the civilian populace are to be amnesticized. Alright, so you cannot... Wi not emo... Okay, <laughs> I need to understand this. Can only be witnessed by a single person at a time, but I guess adjacent people who are next to the individual will see the death of said individual. And so they are to be anesthetized. Okay. I wish sure that he's safe if he Oh. Oh, I get it now. He might not be the killer, but he's there to watch over us. That's. Description SCP 4999 is a humanoid entity of unknown composition, visually resembling a middle aged male. Its physical appearance varies, with its dark suit being the only constant between manifestations. Due to the rarity of recorded SCP-4999 manifestation events and the highly specific circumstances in which they occur, little data concerning its nature or intent is available. However, its behavior is consistent across all recorded sightings. SCP-4999 will manifest only in the presence of one solitary human person at a time. All subjects recorded to date have been in terminally poor health, critically injured, or on their deathbeds. With SCP-4999 appearing nearby and within sight of the individual not more than 20 minutes before their expiration. SCP-4999 will only appear if the subject is conscious and alone. It will not appear if the subject is comatose, asleep, or unconscious, nor will it appear if they are being cared for by or in the company of or otherwise being directly observed by another person. Oh, that's a cool ass fairy man coming out in a dark suit. So, are you ready to uh, say goodbye? <laughs> Upon manifestation, the entity will seat itself directly adjacent to the subject's bed, if such furniture is available. If not, it will remain standing or sit on the floor or ground in whatever configuration will allow it direct physical access to the subject without causing disturbance. Once situated, it will remove a pack of cigarettes from its left inside jacket pocket and offer one to the subject. If the subject accepts, SCP-4999 will place it between their lips, remove one for itself, and light both. If the subject declines, SCP-4999 will light and smoke the cigarette instead. The entity will make physical contact with the subject, typically via holding their hand, 
placing its hand atop theirs, or resting its hand on their shoulder. SCP-4999 will then remain with the subject, silent and unmoving, until they have passed away. Dude! S Who brought the wholesome SCP out of nowhere? That is so wholesome. I mean, I... I <laughs> Wholesome, wholesome, we're still dealing with death here, but not to turn this into like a morbid, sad story here, but as somebody who has witnessed like a close family member passed away, like right in front of me because of sickness, cancer, and a multitude of bad things, giving them a warm, cozy farewell. Like, there's this point where, I guess when they're passing away, the body, to a certain degree, kind of like alleviates the pain and they don't go suffering. And having family members and like people care for you around is so, is so good. At least that's the impression that I've had when I've seen family members passed away. And with my mom having worked as a nurse in many places, she will always give me accounts of like, especially old people who would not have their family around them. Like straight up, like lonely types who are just in either retiree homes or are suddenly just put in special care at just the last moment of their lives. And in that they only have like the nurse to be there next to them, like it sucks. So, you know, when you are saying your final goodbyes, having somebody to sit by your side can be extremely comforting. SCP-4999 has not been seen to engage in any other activity or behavior and demanifests immediately upon the subject's death. The subject's cigarette, however, will remain providing the only physical evidence of SCP-4999's presence. I'll no subject thus far has been seen to recoil from or otherwise resist the entity, nor have any attempted to engage it in conversation, despite multiple instances of subjects acknowledging the entity's presence via eye contact, adjusting posture to reciprocate or facilitate the entity's touch, breaking into tears when noticing its presence, or verbally thanking the entity when offered a cigarette. Individuals affected by SCP-4999 share a number of common attributes. Research into identified subjects has indicated that SCP-4999 is more likely to appear if an individual lives alone, is non-religious, is impoverished or homeless, displays a history of mental illness, is a military veteran, has no criminal record, or has never been convicted of a violent crime, has no currently surviving family, is unmarried or otherwise lacks a significant other, has little to no social standing in the community, oh. does not exhibit any record of significant professional or personal accomplishments, has few to no mutually beneficial interpersonal relationships, or exhibits qualities and life history that have rendered the individual nondescript, anonymous, neglected, or otherwise unremarkable or insignificant by the standards of their respective society. Holy shit. No testing involving SCP-4999 has been authorized or attempted, due to available data indicating that observation of a subject precludes its manifestation, as well as ethical concerns. Goddamn ethics committee. <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> SCP-4999 was initially discovered as the result of its emerging status as an urban legend with footage of an entity appearing on hospital security cameras worldwide being disseminated via the internet and various television programs. A minor disinformation program was put into effect to maintain this public image, and SCP-4999 was officially registered on November 27, 1998. In the years following SCP-4999's classification, Additional research and cross-referencing with accounts of similar phenomena have suggested that while concrete evidence of SCP-4999 appearances has become more commonplace due to the advent of photography and video recording technology in the modern era, writings and artistic depictions of a figure exhibiting similar properties, behavior, and physical resemblance to SCP-4999 exist throughout world history, culture, 
and mythology, with some accounts being thousands of years old, in some cases predating human civilization. Can you imagine that for a second? You, as an ancient Egyptian, going through the fields of reeds and just kick a chat there with the music appropriately playing in the background comes and offers you a cig in a dark suit. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, that is, uh, that is something else. <laughs> Same thing as I called him the ferryman before. Um, yeah, uh, on the river Styx doing a similar thing. Oh, so uh, we're gonna go chill with Hades now? You good with that? <laughs> he has a smoke, mate. It is not currently understood how pre-modern cultures would have been capable of detecting SCP-4999's presence. Investigation is ongoing. I'll be there dead. isn't a lot of SCPs that restore your faith in this universe, but man, this is one of them. Yeah. But that about does it for today. Thank you for listening. If indeed you still are, and you're all dismissed. Goodbye. He's so good. I was trying to figure out at some point uh, if something about November 27th, 1998 was actually ringing a bell, but nothing comes to mind. If any of you have any uh, semblance or at least knowledge of what could have possibly uh, prompted his appearance there, please let me know in the comment section below. But what a wholesome SCP. He's very much like um, Vertigo Comics version of the Sandman when I'm thinking about it. You know, or even the rendition that you may have seen in um, the Netflix adaptation if you watched that show. He's not evil and he shows kindness, but I don't know if he's, if he's like a deeply seated intention in him that wants him to actually restore good in humanity. He, does, he just does it because that's what he wants. <laughs> And I, I think it's great. Now I make the con the comparison with Morpheus. Uh, Morpheus can kind of uh, act kind of evil, so perhaps that is not the right one to make here. But anyways, the points still stand. Great SCP. I like this one. Thank for the recommendation. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>